Hey everyone, this is Jennifer from Blind Beauty. Today we're going to do this look right here. And it's a really simple, quick, everyday look. So if you want to see how I got this, go ahead and keep on watching. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button so that you'll be seeing my videos in your feed. Because I am going to start doing a lot more videos more. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, we're going to go ahead and get started. We are using the Maybelline Baby Skin first. This is going to be a quick get ready with me video. Now you will see the frustrations I have sometimes whenever I am trying to get ready because you are literally getting ready with me today. Dot that all over my face and I'm rubbing it in really good on my forehead and cheeks basically. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and I'm in the shade 220. Decided to turn on some lights because with makeup it is important to have good lighting but not so much lighting that it washes me out. So I turned on some lights here and I get a good amount in my hands and I rub them together and then I dot a little bit basically take my hands and put them on each side of my face and on my chin and forehead and then I just rub it in rub it all over my face make sure I'm blending it out pretty good pretty decent so rub that in really good and with foundation whenever we're using our hands it goes a lot faster because you're not messing with some kind of tool now some people who are faster and more experience might be able to do it just as fast with a beauty blender or Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge or brush or whatever the case may be. But for me, that's faster. Now I'm having trouble finding my concealer that I was wanting. That's why you see me a little bit frustrated in this clip. Um, and this is real time. So you are seeing the struggles I have but I cannot get the concealer open is my issue because I didn't wipe my hands off like I usually do so I'm digging in in my drawer and I'm going to grab the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in medium taking that and putting it under my eyes just go in a small triangular shape under my eyes just to cover the bags basically is all I'm wanting to do you know, because there is some darkness there. It's not as bad as it can be at times, but there's still some there. So I'm taking that under there with the wand. And then I'm going to use my fingers, because whenever you use your fingers, like I said about the foundation, it blow it, <laughs> it goes so much easier. It blows by quicker, is what I was going to say. It happens so fast, because you don't have to mess with the brush. So now I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I know I didn't get the concealer completely blended, but with this matte and poreless, whenever I'm putting it on, because I'm not doing a real heavy coat, I'm kind of blending in that concealer as well, because I noticed the mistake. So taking that and dusting it all over my face, especially in the T-zone where I get most oily. Now I'm using another brush and I'm using the shanty brush. The first brush for the powder was uh, the e.l.f. complexion but the blush brush I'm using is with Milani Luminoso. Do it in circul circular motions on the cheek and sweep it back and with me I can't see blush either way so that's why it really didn't matter to me. Now I'm using the e.l.f. long lasting lustrous eyeshadow and I believe it's in the color toast and it's a bronzy gold color is the best way I know to describe it. Mine is a little dried out, but it's still usable at this point. And I'm just patting that on the lid, rubbing it on the lid with my ring finger. And making sure I get it evenly all over the lid. Now you can take this up into the crease a little bit. Now with me, I was mainly focusing it on the lid. Because this is a good one shadow look for whenever I'm in a hurry, I do this. If I want something to stay, because this stays better than some of the other 
shadows I've tried. Like, even Maybelline color tattoos are really good. But I, unfortunately, don't have the gold or back to the bronze or taupe or anything like that anymore. But, make sure it's even on both sides. That's why you saw me look around. And I noticed that there's some fallout from the dryness, basically. And this is very glittery, so I brushed that off with a brush. Now I'm going to take the um, Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline, and I'm coating my lashes really good. I would normally recommend to curl them, but if you're in a hurry like I was this morning, especially just using mascara can work. It just darkens them up a little bit, because this is not a full glam look. Would you like to see a full glam? Let me know. Now I'm going to use the e.l.f. Clear Mascara and Brow Gel. And I'm doing my brows with that. You can use both sides for the brows. Now this is just to set my brows so they don't go crazy and start sticking out everywhere like they already are, but they can get worse. Now I'm using the AOA Metallic Lip color I believe is what it's called. I'll make a note on the screen as well as leave the product link down below. This is a Cyber and it's only a dollar so I these are some nice lip colors and I will be doing a full review on this as well. If you'd like to see it let me know if you want to see that review. Now I'm just fluffing up my hair and with my hair it's so thick it's hard to get it to really wave. And first I tried using the Aussie Sprunch Spray, but I didn't make sure I could get anything out before using it. So I'm a little frustrated in this thing. That's why I rolled my eyes at you. So then I gave up on that and I'm like, okay. I go ahead and I grab the Suave Sea Salt Spray. I couldn't find it for a moment. I have a little area that I keep all my hair stuff up on a shelf so I have to I had to get up and get that now I'm just spritzing that all over my hair I do one side and I scrunched it a little bit just to see if it was going to work for me then I spritz it all over my hair and then I just scrunch my hair so that's basically all I do I want to thank you so much for watching and have a great day I want to thank you so much for watching this video and taking the time out of your day to do that. So I hope that you do subscribe so that you can see whenever I do post a new video. I also hope that you follow us on all of our social media as well. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest as well as I have a blog where I post different topics on as well that may pertain to this video, may not. I will be posting links in the section down below to where you can find that blog and find all the links to my social media. So I hope you subscribe. Thank you.